So in this video, we're going to be looking at creating a frequency, a cumulative frequency histogram and the OGIV, OGIV, the OG thing. Trying to grab my data, there we go. Okay, here's my data that I'm gonna use. Marks go from one to 10, frequency two to two, four, and et cetera. And the cumulative frequency, we can work that out ourselves. So first we wanna view the spreadsheet. These are our marks. This is our frequency. This is going to be the cumulative frequency. And we're also going to do the boundaries. So the marks are 1 to 10. Frequencies two four two one six eight seven six two two. Cumulative frequency with well, the first cumulative frequency is just equal to that one, and the next cumulative is just equal to the previous one plus the next one. And we'll fill that down. Okay, the boundaries is going to start at 0 0.5. So this is for the score of 1, and that ends at 1.5. In fact, everything is going to be equal to the previous one plus 1. And they're all our boundaries. also want over here this is going to start at zero and it's just going to equal the cumulative frequencies we just need it on the right hand side here because that's going to become eventually that's become our o give that's going to be the points it's going to be the x coordinate and that's going to be the y coordinate So what we need is we need this boundary as a list. So right click that, create a list. It's a list of our boundaries. And we need a list of the cumulative frequencies. List of the cumulative frequencies. So we're gonna do our histogram. And our boundaries is going to be L1, and our cumulative frequencies is L2. That's really, really big. So I'm going to zoom in so I can see. There. And then we can, on our move the graphics view, Let's move over to the y-axis, just shrink it down so we've got a better ratio between x and y, where we can actually see everything. There we go. Change some of the properties of this. Color, make it blue, make it more opaque. And the basics, we can turn the label off. We're almost done. Another thing we need, select the class boundaries and our 
cumulative frequency with a zero at the first point as the first whack coordinate. Select both of those columns and right click, and we're going to create a polyline. There's our polyline on the right hand sides. Change the color, change the style, turn the label off, hide all these points. And there we have it. Just fix up a few little things. Turn the grid off. Show only the positive. And we'll even change the font. Something nice, big, and readable. There you have it. Cumulative frequency histogram with the OGIV. You just got to capture that, maybe put on some labels, and you're done.